Choir Master's Burial by Thomas Hardy. He often would ask us that when he died, after playing so many to their last rest, if out of us any should here abide, and it would not task us, we would with our lutes play over him by his grave brim the psalmy light best, the one who sent suits Mount Ephraim. And perhaps we should seem to him in death's dream like the seraphim. As soon as I knew that his spirit was gone, I thought this his due, and spoke thereupon. I think, said the vicar, a red service quicker than vials out of doors in these frosts and whores. That old-fashioned way requires a fine day, and it seems to me it had better not be. Hence, that afternoon, though never knew he that his wish could not be, to get through it faster, they buried the master without any tune. But twas said that when, at the dead of next night, the vicar looked out, there struck on his ken thronged round about, where the frost was grey in the headstone grass, a band all in white, like the saints in church glass, singing and playing the ancient stave by the choir master's grave. Such the tenor man told when he had grown old.